Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum. Before I bring on our very special member of the ATP family, I want to remind all of you out there in ATP land, please, if you haven't done so already, take out your cell phones right now, do me a favor, and text the word TRUTH in the message box, and send it to the number 88202, push send, by text message. You'll be signed up for all of our shows to come directly to you on your cell phone absolutely for free. Okay, did you do it? Thank you. I want to bring on our very special guest, a longtime member of the ATP family, all the way from the very beginning, Annie Cyrus. She's also the founder of Live Up to Freedom. She's probably the most famous escapee from the brutal dictatorship of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Welcome back, Annie. Thanks for having me back, Barry. Today's a big day, as we were just discussing. Uh, there's a lady on Capitol Hill bashing on Facebook. She uh, was the whistleblower on 60 Minutes. It raises some very important issues for people like you and me that are telling the truth in spite of Facebook. So let's talk about Facebook today. When Facebook began, it was a great place to post pictures of your new shoes and to give an update that your cat rolled over. Uh, I remember I was working on a political campaign uh, some years ago, and the consultant came in and said, you know, we could use Facebook for something else. In your mind, what should Facebook be used for now? Well, I would say Facebook should stay the way it was at the beginning, meaning you use it for what you want to use as long as you're not harming other people, for example, pornography or ISIS members recruiting ISIS jihadis on Facebook. Other than that, I think you should apply all the rules they had at the beginning, which was freedom of speech, freedom of expression. And as long as you're not harming someone else, you get to use your page in any way you like. For example, American Truth Project on Facebook puts out the truth. Annie Cyrus exposes the dangers of Islam. Miley Cyrus puts out his, her new song. And as you said, Annie Cyrus sometimes actually put the new kitties pictures too. That should, that's my, un, a standard of what Facebook or any other platform for that matter called social media should be. So I get that, but Facebook is now the world's largest purveyor of the dominant ide ideology that they control. So in other words, if you follow their program, your voice is heard, it's magnified and it's promoted. And if you don't, you disappear into the algorithm. Uh, the dissent has been so suppressed by Facebook and they're independent fact checkers, and even restrictions on or canceling of your account. And I know you've had experiences like this. What has Facebook done to you? Oh, yeah, definitely. So they have officially removed my Aki News Facebook channel, which is the page that I put my reports on. They have limited my Live Up to Freedom page into maximum of reaching 500 people a day. And then they basically remove my post on my page. I've been banned from live feed on Facebook about four or five times period of 30 days at a time. And of course, I've been banned from posting altogether. I have lost count for a day or two or sometimes up to 10 days. All of that, by the way, is just simply me stating verses of Quran or a Hadith or something that spoke person of Taliban said. So they weren't even my words. I was just a messenger, but I got censored for putting it out. I know the story true. Uh, and I wanted our viewers to hear it. It's horrible what they've done to you. So Facebook is no longer a neutral platform as you were suggesting it should be. And people that say that it, it's just absurd and patently untrue. Facebook is a publisher, and they have a clear political agenda. Look, the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, has no voice. He's turned off because they don't like him. But jihadi terrorists around the world use the platform thousands of times per hour. Are they still, I mean, these bad guys, are they still on Facebook? Uh, the Taliban Facebook page was uh, removed. However, they are still active on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, ISIS 
activists are still allowed on Facebook. There are active pages recruiting ISIS members and soldiers and brides. Um, Al-Qaeda pages have been removed. So for you, as an immigrant who escaped the tyranny of Iran in a horrible, horrible story that you is your life story, and you came to America, the land of the free, did you ever think that free speech in our country, which is now your country as an American, would be so regulated? When I came here, absolutely not. That was 19 years ago. But uh, starting about 2009, 2010, I did see it coming and I started warning people. And that was when uh, President Obama went to a mosque and said the following, and I quote, let me be clear, Islam is part of America. That moment I knew freedom of speech will fade away because if Islam is part of something, freedom of speech cannot be part of it. So from well, there, I prepared myself and I started exposing the red-green axis, which is what you're, what you're looking at. Facebook is Facebook, the leftists, and then all of their fact checkers are members of you know, Islamic companies and organizations, and some of the rules and regulations goes against Pakistan, apparently. Well, you've just led me into the next question I was going to ask you. Perfect segue, I might add. As I've said many times, um, in World War II, Hitler's propagandist minister, the infamously evil Joseph Goebbels said, give me control of the press and I will make the people into sheep. And that might as well be the motto of Facebook today. In your experience, as someone all over social media, what would you say the party line is on Facebook? And what is not an acceptable viewpoint on Facebook? Well, on Facebook, we are looking at what our uh, wonderful Claire Lopez always refers to. We're looking at red, black, green axis on Facebook. If you're pro Black Lives Matter movement and you burn down buildings, yay. If you are going to expose the violence that is caused by Black Lives Matter movement, no, 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 no. If you are pro Islamization, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib covering up for Keith Allison beating up his girlfriend, thumbs up. If you're Annie Cyrus or Barry Newsbaum and you do not want Islamization to take place in America, they will censor you to the best they can. If you're pro Trump, you're banned immediately. You go for yay Biden, you get verified and you get five star reviews on your page. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And every word you said is true. Annie, how can people find out about you? If you don't mind, I just wanna say something. I should have said it before I wrapped up my answer, but since you brought up the Nazi Germany, I had the honor to film a hero of our time, survivor of Holocaust, her name is uh, Vera Sharab, uh, look her up, she's amazing. She was a little kid when she survived, but she said this such profound sentence to me and it was, Auschwitz did not start with Auschwitz. On that note, I want our audience to know, this is not the worst we're gonna face. If we don't fight back, this is not the worst you have experienced in your free life. I am begging you, get involved, stand up, don't wait for someone else to do the fight for you because we do not want history repeating itself when we wait so long that Auschwitz is created and there's nothing we can do at that point. On that note, you can get involved by signing up on americantruthproject.org or text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, to 88202 to get involved. Or you can come to my website, liveuptofreedom.com, to be all about educating yourself on Islam and Islamization. Extremely well said, and I urge people to support her. She's a true freedom fighter, and people like her are rare and deserve your support. Thanks for coming on with us, Annie Cyrus, and you out there in ATP land for joining us for ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum.